Hey, what's up guys? JC with Ron Strong. Welcome to another video. He was actually trained by the U.S. Israel Force. What's called Combat Comprehension. Uh, gathering information on, on other cartel members. So he was given special training, you know, for combat and all that stuff of the way that they're fighting the drug cartels in Mexico. After seven years of working with the government, he went to the dark side, started working with the cartels. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should've seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling. Six time failing, I went back to prison. Got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them. From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision. From wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong. From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong On a 22 year prison sentence that he had got by the federal government in Mexico the federal justice department granted him a get out of free jail card and it was obtained because I guess they proved that when he was caught in 2008 in uh, Reynosa, uh, when he was arrested, that the military actually got confessions out of him through uh, torture. But, you know, it's against the law to do that, even in Mexico. <laughs> but they're letting him go. Okay. Let me tell you something about Jimenez Gonzalez Duran, AKA El Hammer. At one time it was said that he was the most bloodthirsty leader of the Setas. At 44 years old, ex-military, what is he gonna do when he gets home? What's gonna happen? You know, he was one of the original founding members of the setas and he was third in charge you know uh back in the day also rumors uh said it that he had something to do with that singer that was uh killed that used to sing narco corridos i guess it was a song named a mis enemigos where he was kind of like talking a little bit of crap to the setas and they uh, bumped into him in a checkpoint and um, you know stuff happens um, I guess they, they said that the song could turn like uh, lyrics that were taunting the setas but this is a high-powered guy that's either home or getting ready to come home remember he was third in charge one of the founding members of the setas so that means he's gonna get out with respect, street cred, and assume his position right back into the cartel that this might actually be like a, 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 a fresh air for the setas to kind of like regroup and get back together again. Remember, if you guys haven't seen my past videos on the setas or the the movie, uh, the series 000 that I did a, a review on, you'll see how 
the setas pretty much inflicted control they they gained control inflicting fear through all their enemies their you know people that lived in their area the, the places they controlled all that they did it with sheer fear not with money not with connections not with nothing else just fear they were one of the first ones that's why i made that that video on zero 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 they were one of the first ones that started doing they're the ones that started that new era of all the stuff that you see now the beheadings the chopping up the burning the the you know, all that stuff all the military base bad bad stuff that you see now you know um Him coming home and assuming a position is going to be, we're going to have to see how it plays out pretty much with all the smaller cartels that are out there right now and all the big ones that are fighting for more control. Um, we'll see where, where it ends. I mean, he could either come out and, you know, be missing on the first day, uh, something that he did to somebody else that's now in, in, in a in a power position you know what i mean people don't forget so who knows how it could go he, he, he could either go back into control or he could disappear right when he gets home but he's getting ready to come home if not he's already home and already in a position but like i said he was very very known el hammer el hammer they got some really cool names over there el hammer and el, el mochombo and they got all these el señor de los cielos all these cool names, man. Azul. Mine's just JC. Huh. Well, let's see what happens, guys. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Cartel Life with JC. <laughs> hey, man. Don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Be kind to others. Give somebody a hug. Ask them how their day is. Don't forget to be human today man be a service help somebody ask them how they're doing it's the right thing to do man my name is jc i am ron strong if you haven't stay in your lane if you haven't give somebody a hug if you haven't don't judge nobody <laughs>